So in this video, we're gonna talk about how you can implement ads or ad move ads from Google to your game in Game Maker. There is three type of ad: banner ad, interstitial ad, and rewarded video ad. So without any further ado, let's find out how we can implement them. Let's begin. Hi, I'm Navid Ansari and in this video we're gonna talk about how you can set up ad mode in your game or how you can have ads to earn money from games or apps. But first, I should explain why I'm doing this. You know that I'm a PCB designer and MD software developer. Why do I wanna use Game Maker in my smart home project? You see, for creating your own smart home design, you need app for Android, you need app for iOS, and you need app for web pages, web apps. There is two ways to do them. One is hire somebody for Android development, hire another body for uh, iOS develop development, and hire another one for uh, web apps, right? It, it needs a lot of money. But the easiest way and the cheapest way to do that is to use a graphic game engine and the simplest and easiest graphic engine is game maker and that's why i'm using game maker to create apps for android ios and web apps so we can turn off or on a lamp with Android phone, iOS phone, or from the just a web page. You create your smart home apps in Game Maker, and Game Maker give you Android output, iOS output, and web apps output. So you can have three of them in just one software. Game Maker has easiest language. Even it has a drag and drop feature for adding add mob to our project we let's create a project here you see there is drag and drop and game maker language we want a game maker language it's easiest language out there just click and in here you should go to marketplace download google play service and add it to your project or you go you can go to my library and in my library just go to google play services and download it from here you can search it and you will find it here and i want to import what is needed for this project just click import and in here we need extensions so click add on extension and we need another file that called obg google mobile ads and add this as well import it to your project So let's open our room. This OBG Google Mobile Ads for showing the events that come from the request that we make. So let's just open this. I don't want this draw because it's for example. So just delete this draw. If you go to read me, you can read all of this because it's explained a lot. These yellow strings, these are what you should replace with your own. So this is the publisher ID. For test, they put this one. It's just for testing. And in your AdMob account, you can uh, copy all of these codes and make money off of that so you should replace all of this at the end but for testing you should stick with these parameters because if you put your own in here and test with that it may be google ban your account so don't do that just at the end when you want to publish your app or game replace all of this yellow with your own after this just go to async social let's just collapse all of these so there is three type of ads in google play one is banner one is interstitial interstitial and one is rewarded video okay 
the banner it come in bottom of bottom of your app um, but you can you can move it wherever you want interstitial ad is when there is a video that has timeout and time counter and uh, after five seconds or, or ten seconds you can close it and you can make money off of that as well and the reward we do is that video that player can decide to watch and earn money or coins or whatever you have in your app or game so this is the kind of app that you can add to your game maker app or pro, uh, games you see that this is async social event okay so whatever event that come from google extensions google extension will come here and you get all of that you don't need to change anything here uh, but in rewarded video when the user watch that video rewarded video watch when they watch it you can add that amount that you promised them to add to their coin or money or whatever so you should use just this one for adding coin to your client coins but others it's just show debug messaging you see and you can leave it leave it with that uh, let me explain one of them in inter interstitial load when the interstitial load is complete the um, the interloading should be false because it's not loading it's loaded it's either loaded or it's failed to load and you can get that with this if else in here and if loaded you, sh you show that interest you are loaded and you need that for debugging so don't worry about this object you, what you need to change in here is just this rewarded video that you should uh, when they watch your video you should add that amount that you promised that's it after that we can just close this and we can go to our room let's say we want to uh, put the loading command in creation code of this let's hit that creation in here if you look for google and go down let's let's say we want to interest shall add in here so go down load interest shall add what this line of code do it's just for loading the video that client should watch so at the beginning of your room or in uh, room creation code I will always add this line of code for loading the video so it may take time to load and at the end of that room when the game is finished and the level is finished I will show it so after you add this to your own creation code you should just put this object to your room so it will run and show all the debug messages and after that we can just run our game or app but before that you should choose the target I want to use Android you should use Android for doing that and I, I have a emulator here so the thing that you should do before you compile is just go to game games option go to Android and in here choose a build setting and in architecture just um, select all of this or select one you need and hit OK and after that we can just build it to our phone or emulator so you see in here in bottom it says interstitial loaded so the video is downloaded but how we can show it you see that it's an empty room how we can show it i want to show it in this obg let's go here you see if you double, double click in here edit object I want to show it when it says it's loaded so I want to go to interest shall load and in this if you see so 
So in here, it means when it reach here, it means the video is downloaded and we can show it. So we say Google. Google show interest share. Okay. So that's all you need to do. And know that we add at the Google show interest shell in here, we can again compile it and run it in our emulator to see if it's loaded and shown in our project. You see that uh, if you go up, interest shell loaded. And after that, we the ad was shown and you see it here that the ad is here and after five seconds of video you can uh, client can close it and you earn money by that that was dismissed you see and this all these debug messages is for you not the client so this obg mobile ads it's just for that let me explain it one more time in creation code i say google mobile ads load interest shell so it will download the video ads video and after that i say show it with this line of code you can write this show whenever wherever you want after finishing the level after a starting a level in middle of a level or wherever you want just say google mobile ads show interest show that's it you will show that ads for your client and you will make money off of that for banner it's most like this and for rewarded the difference is in rewarded video watched when the client watch your video you should give that amount that you promised in here if amount is not undefined you can add that amount okay in your ad ad mob account you can change this amount as well and you can change the currency as well in there so that's it that's how easy to implement ads in your game or app in game maker please hit that like button if you like this video and hit that subscribe and bell button please thank you for watching bye